What up, you nerds? Fallout here, and we have a lot to talk about because Bungie finally dropped their brand new Season of the Worthy trailer, and it's jam-packed with juicy info on new weapons, new activities, and more. Some things in the trailer were right up front and obvious, and some things were a little more hidden. But we're gonna go through all of it, and also the brand new info posted to Bungie's website, including the new Season 10 calendar. Real quick, we're gonna play the trailer first in its entirety. If you've already seen it, feel free to skip ahead to the time I'm currently indicating on the screen. Alrighty, here we go. Anna, are you there? The Cabal have taken out the primary engine. It's like they want this thing to drift off into space forever. Not forever. Guardian, the Almighty is plummeting me towards the last city, yet we have no way to stop it. If it comes to it, we Guardians must be the ones to make a hard choice. Okay, so the first thing that leaps out at you from the trailer are these huge towering pillars scattered throughout what looks like the EDZ. According to the new Season of the Worthy calendar, this is likely the Seraph Tower event, aka the new PvE activity we'll be able to play in Season 10. Details are limited right now, but it seems clear this will be going on on planets other than just Earth, as seen later in the trailer when the Guardians are running around doing what looks to be like the activity on the moon. This event seems to be playable from day one of season 10 and will reward the player with both new legendary weapons and armor. Next, we got an absolute ton of new gear. I'm going to start with all the gear that is very likely going to be tied to Trials of Osiris in some way, shape, or form. If you don't know what Trials of Osiris is at this point, Man, you really gotta get your head out of the sand on that one, but it's a returning 3v3 PvP event in Destiny that you're either insanely hyped for or kinda don't care about. Anyway, starting off, we have this shotgun right here, which can be seen several times in the trailer, but first appearing in the hands of a running titan. While it's entirely possible this weapon could be brand new, it does bear a striking resemblance to the Astral Horizon shotgun from Destiny 1. Later on in the trailer, there's a whole jumble of close-up shots of weapons and armor, clearly indicated to be Trials-themed gear. Once again, the shotgun does make an appearance, but we also have this sniper rifle right here. Even though it looks very similar visually to the Revoker sniper, the Destiny 2 Pinnacle PvP reward, this is probably a reimagining or a rebranding of the Glass Promontory sniper, which again was a reward from Destiny 1 Trials. Moving on, we have have this bad boy right here, and this gun is the one I've seen most people making noise about. It is extremely likely that this is a reintroduction of an old fan favorite, the Doctrine of Passing Auto Rifle, better known as Dr. Passion. Again, with auto rifles getting buffed in Season 10, it's pretty likely that the Doctrine is going to be a weapon that a lot of people might want to get their hands on. Now, although you might think those are probably all the Trials weapons that got highlighted in the trailer, you might be wrong. There's a quick shot of a few guardians fighting on Anomaly, and right at the beginning, we have a shot of a hunter running into the fight with a cool-looking gun on his back. Might look like kind of a Mita multi-tool. Actually, when I was watching and breaking down this trailer live with my chat on Twitch today, I mistakenly assumed right away it might be a new skin 
For the Mita Multi-Tool, it's much more likely though that this is an updated version of the Inward Lamp Scout Rifle, again, a weapon from Destiny 1. At this point, some of you watching this video might be kinda salty that so many, quote, new weapons are in fact old weapons. Again, I get it. I'm personally of the mindset that, hey, if it's a gun that used to be awesome and we haven't had it for a long ass time, I'm more than happy to get it back. But I get it. If you feel differently, sound off down below in the comment section, but do it like a normal person, would you? Now, what I really want to talk to you all about, the exotic weapons that we saw in the trailer, three of them to be exact, two new and one old. The old one you might recognize, it's the fourth horseman, a double, double barrel shotgun from the golden days of D1. I gotta be completely honest with you, I was never a huge fan of this gun back in the day, but with all the crazy shotgun changes coming in Season of the Worthy, I really don't know what to expect right now. For all I know, the fourth horseman is gonna be really meta in under a month. Who knows? If the new version is anything like its old school D1 counterpart, we should expect the new horseman to be full auto, maybe be an energy weapon with arc damage, and also have have very little range. This gun is not at all a precision weapon. It's more like a garden hose where the goal is to hold the trigger down and plaster everything in spread. The good news, if you want to call it that, is with the upcoming sandbox change, range might mean diddly squad on shotguns in season 10. So really what difference is low range on the fourth horseman really gonna make? I can't say that for certain, but time will tell. At the very least, I think the design of the horseman is really good, and either way, can't wait to use it. Next up, we have the brand spankin' new Tommy's Matchbook, appropriately named for sure, because the design is a spitting image of a Tommy gun from old black and white gangster movies. I know that there are a lot of data miners out there, but at the moment, I haven't really done a whole lot of digging myself. If there is a bunch of info on this gun out there right now, I sure as hell don't know what it is. The only thing I know for sure right now is that it looks sick. Oh, and it's also an auto rifle. If I had to guess, I'd say that it might end up being a member of the rapid fire frame family, but who really knows? Your guess is as good as mine. If you are a big fan of the way this thing looks and you can't wait to get your hands on it right away, uh, the season pass will get you access to the gun immediately in season 10. Moving on, we have a gun that honestly, I wish I knew what it was called because it looks really incredible. If you've ever really paid attention to the big bad cabal majors that gun you down in PV activities with a big old minigun, you'll probably recognize this weapon. It's really almost the exact same design. It clearly looks like a machine gun, a heavy weapon slot weapon for sure. The little iron sights at the top of the gun are very clearly cabal inspired. The design actually reminds me a ton of the Skyburner's Oath exotic scout rifle. That thought led to my Twitch chat giving it the loving nickname of Skyburner's Girth, and I'm begging all of you that that is what we call that gun from now on. Strange thought, if this weapon does take a page out of the Skyburner's Oath playbook, it's entirely possible that it could shoot projectile rather than perform as a hitscan weapon. I don't know if that's gonna be the case, don't quote me on that. Again, just a wild thought. If anyone has any theories or confirmed information on this new gun, feel free to come discuss in the spoilers channel of my Discord. Now for some other things that might be a little less cool but are still worthy of mentioning. How about new finishing animations? If that's something you care about. Got this great shot in the trailer of a warlock dropping two cabal blades on an enemy and oh my god, just thinking about that right now, how absolutely sick it would be to have a double fisted exotic sword based on that design. Bungie, please. Also, we got a really strong looking Titan giving a hive the Leonidas. This is Sparta kick. Not bad. I'm a fan. Later in the trailer, we have another warlock giving an enemy a finisher in the style of a Valkyrie javelin stab. If that one looks kinda awesome to you, it is available once you reach season rank 10. Probably a good idea to mention right now that if you want to see almost all of the season rank rewards for the season of the worthy, they are up right now on Bungie's website, along with a 
bunch of other stuff. These guns in particular are up there and managed to catch my eye. Looks like we got a sidearm, a machine gun, an auto rifle, and a hand cannon. If I were a betting man, I'd say that these weapons, since they look very war-mindy, are probably rewards from the new Seraph Tower PvE event, but I don't know as of the writing of this video. Next, we got two sets of fresh-looking armor. One we already know about. It's the Trials of Osiris armor set from D1, back in full glory. Again, even though this is technically old content with a new layer of paint, I'm glad that Warlocks finally have a good looking helmet option again, for Christ's sakes. I mean, really, how many garbage helmet styles we gotta go through before finding something decent? Hashtag bring back the Ram. The other armor set, which is quickly shown in the trailer, but you can get a much, much better look at on the Bungie website is this gold and green looking badass armor set right here. I'm telling you, I would do terrible, horrible, unforgivable things to get my hands on that hunter helmet, like play a hunter. We also have our first look at the season 10 artifact, the Warmind Kanjali. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm almost certain that I'm not though. I think a lot of people looked at this very, very quickly, assumed it was going to be some kind of crazy new sword that you could wield as a power weapon, but uh, no, just an artifact. Remember that artifacts have no power cap and you can level them up pretty much forever, but Bungie has confirmed already that artifact power is not going to be calculated in events like Iron Banner and Trials of Osiris moving forward. Last two things to mention on the Bungie Season 10 calendar, we have one additional activity and one additional event. The Grandmaster Ordeal is a new Nightfall difficulty, which will not only yield endgame level rewards, but also a new seal. You know, for those of you out there who are IRL loot collectors. Finally, a new event scheduled for April 21st called The Guardian Games. This is a free event for all players that rewards legendary armor. And even though there's not a lot of in Info, it looks like this is just a straight up contest between hunters, warlocks, and titans. Let me tell you, if I know anything about the Destiny community, it's that people love to instigate drama and competition between the three classes for pretty much no reason. And I mean really, isn't it just like a crayon eating titan to stir up drama? You know what I mean. Anyway, that's it for now on the Season of the Worthy reveal trailer. New activities, the return of my favorite PvP game type of all time, new armor, old armor, new weapons, old weapons, and a big ass sandbox update that I am terrified of. If you found this video helpful, please do me a solid and click the like button. And if you haven't already, please smash that sub button down into the ground. Thanks from the bottom of my heart to those who do. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.